I wanted to come on here um, and talk about the Rams and how, like, I think th- they got better in a way, but I think the 49ers could be, and this is how the 49ers will beat them, and I think this is going to be really key. Um, the Rams, you could argue, got worse in the trenches in the trenches because they lost Sebastian Joseph Day, and they also got lessened like, with Von Miller. Um, right. So I think you could actually make the argument. That the Rams, yes, they got better on the offensive side of the ball by adding um, Allen Robinson and obviously getting those running backs back. But what has been the Rams' biggest um, weakness when they play the 49ers is stopping the run, right? Yeah, yep, yep. Exactly. And so the Rams honestly went into this offseason. It's funny. They weren't trying to – because if they would have really wanted to stop the 49ers – they would have uh, invested more into that defensive line. Instead, they actually invested more into their offense and then not as much into their defense. So that's encouraging because the 49ers, the Rams didn't uh, make any effort to stop anything of what the 49ers are going to try to do. So it's a, it's a good sign for the 49ers fans because we're going to be able to run the ball and they're not going to be able to stop it year after year. And it's just so funny because – that might be one or two wins right there because they're not, they didn't just try, they didn't go into this offseason trying to stop the run. They actually lessened it. So, and what's it was crazy is like if you, if you look at the Niners schedule, it's tough. You look at the Rams schedule, it's worse. They might have the worst right. schedule in the league. It's really tough. Yeah. Yeah. And so they, they have the, and yeah, and that's why it's like, yes, I do think, though, tough, I, I think Bobby Wagner is going to be a nice little addition yes. to that run defense. Yes, but it in is. Trenches, they're weaker for sure. Yeah. Yes, yes, absolutely. Yeah. And I that's why I'm like, our schedule is tough, but uh, so is the Cardinals and Seahawks. I mean, uh, and Rams schedule. So, yeah. um, yeah, that's what I wanted to say as well. Are you and picking then, the Niners to win the division? Is that what you're saying? Is that what you're no, saying? No, oh. I, I still have the Rams just because, okay. like, Matthew Stafford, you've got actually Cam Akers coming back, and he was really big for them as well. And then you arguably have. Allen Robinson, I think with a good quarterback like Matthew Stafford is going to be a super elite. He just was he didn't have the right quarterback in Chicago. So okay. their offense is going to be explosive this year. Yeah. Um, and then one more thing that I have for you. Who do you think will be a breakout player for the 49ers this year? I'd like to say Juwan Jennings. I think okay. he's going to have a big time offseason if he stays healthy. I think he's going to get a lot of targets, man. Because again, uh, you need someone who catches everything with Trey Lance because yeah. Lance doesn't throw the most catchable ball. I mean, it's not feathery like Jimmy's yeah. is. So that's Jennings. That's Dwelly. I was going to say, and that's a really good one, but I was going to say a sleeper. And this is the rookie Drake, Drake Jackson. Drake Jackson. Yeah. Because I, like that I think he's going to be getting a lot of yeah. like single teams. It's kind of like the um, Bosa effect in year one when um, Armstead and, Buckner, we're getting all the and D Ford, we're getting all the double yeah. teams. And That's I think they're going to take Ebukam off the field to put right. on Drake Jackson, and that, he's going to get the D Ford role right away. He's going to get hella hella sacks. Yeah, and so yeah, and a lot of uh, a lot of single teams. He might get more that's, sacks than Bosa. If that's you get a guy that, yeah, that's a yeah. guy that I could easily see getting eight nine sacks. And this defensive line, oh my gosh, it's going to be really scary. You're going twelve people deep, and you're like, wow, like all of them could really contribute. So yeah, yep. Yep, Ben, good to see you, man.